Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my top 10 purple polishes. I'm gonna do this like I do all of my top 10. Start at number 10, I work my way down to number one. So let's get started on the top 10. So number 10 is a two part polish. Okay, so um, Tonic has released a number of Unicorn P polishes over the last year and some of them they have made undies for. Um, so this one is Empress and Empress Undies. So this is the undies part, which is basically a more opaque version of this minus the unicorn pee. So you'd put this on and then this over top. So you're not using as much of this wonderful unicorn pee polish. So this is just the base, this lovely purple, and then this is your magic that goes on top, which is the unicorn pee. So this is very recent, this only came out a couple of months ago. I think it might still be available, I'm not 100% sure, um, but this is a gorgeous polish. Um, so the picture that I'm showing you is two coats of Empress Undies and then one coat of the Empress on top. So this is Empress from Tonic. So at number nine, I have an Artist Nails, but this is a mystery polish. It has no name to it. I purchased a couple of mystery packs from um, Artist Nails. Um, in the spring because my mom was going to England. So I placed a couple of orders from Artist Nails and had them shipped to my aunt's house and then she, my mom brought them home for me. And this was one of the mysteries that was in there. It's this beautiful purple holographic. It's super holographic as you can see there. It's got a beautiful formula on it and it's just gorgeous. But unfortunately it does not have a name so I have no idea why this was never put into a collection but this is an absolutely gorgeous polish and I am very happy with it. So this is just an Artist Nails Mystery Polish. At number eight, I have an OPI. Um, I've been not wearing very much mainstream polish at all this year. Like it's been very hard for me to pull away from my indies because I'm trying to wear as many untried polishes as possible this year. So um, I haven't really been wearing my mainstream polishes. So there's only two mainstream polishes in this top 10 because I have been, haven't really been wearing them. But this one is an old favorite and this is called Do You Have This Color in Stockholm? And this came out in the Nordic collection a couple of years back. And it's a beautiful, it's almost a blurple um, cream polish. It's very pretty, beautiful formula. And it's just a classic. I think this is one of the most popular polishes from that collection. This and um, my dog said is, is a hybrid are the two polishes I always hear about from that collection. I have both and I do love both of them. But this is a great purple polish. So this is Do You Have This Color in Stockholm. At number seven, I have Colors by LaRoe. This was a polish pickup polish that came out in November of 2017. This is called 40 Going on 26. And I think this is from the Fandoms themed month, I want to say. Uh, this is a beautiful multi curve, so it goes from blue to purple. And it's got some holographic sparkle in here. It's so pretty. Beautiful formula. It's, it was kind of the one of those ones where you're just like, do you put this in the blue or do you put this in the purple? I decided to put it in my purple, but this is a gorgeous polish. So this is 40 going on 26. Number six, I have a ta another tonic. This is Mahaloversary. This came out in an HHC trio a couple of months back. So unfortunately you won't be able to get this polish unless you find it in a D stash. But this is a beautiful purpley pink holographic. It's got some bigger flakies in here too. Beautiful polish, beautiful formula, as always from Tonic. Tonic always has gorgeous formulas. So this is Mahaloversary from Tonic. Number five is the only other mainstream polish in this top 10. And this actually was my first ever OPI that I ever purchased. This is Dutch You Just Love OPI. And this is a beautiful dusty purple with a gold like glass fleck in here. It's very pretty. And like I said, this was the very first OPI polish that I ever purchased. Years and years and years ago. I had a gift card for winners and I went in and this was one of the polishes that was sitting on the shelf so I picked it up. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I still love it. So that is Dutch Just Love OPI. 
Number four is another polish that's very new to my collection, but I fell hard for this polish when I put it on my nails. This is Windy City from Tonic. This polish is so gorgeous. So again, it's like a bluey purple with a pink flash in it, and it's got all these flakies and holographic going on in it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's one of those polishes that you expect from Tonic. Very complex, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So that is Windy City. At number three, I have a Vapid polish. I don't own many Vapid polishes. All of them that I own, I picked up from their purge that they had on New Year's Eve last year. And they were all ridiculously low priced. And I think I bought like eight polishes and they were all five bucks a polish. They were really, really well priced. But this is called Purple Poison and this is absolutely gorgeous polish. The formula of this polish is amazing. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to have their purge again this winter because I probably will partake in it again. But this is just this beautiful purple holographic with an amazing formula. If you like your purples, I really recommend this polish. It's absolutely stunning. So this is Purple Poison from Vapid. At number two, I have what used to be my favorite purple, and which has now been bumped down to number two. This is Crown of Thistles from A England. This polish, like I said, it used to be my favorite purple, but unfortunately something came in and bumped it out. Um, but this is a beautiful holographic purple. It's, I don't know, it's just such a luxurious feeling polish when it's on your nails. The formula is absolutely amazing, like you come to expect from A England. And then the color is gorgeous too. It's very, very regal feeling. Uh, but yeah, I've loved this polish for a long time. And it, like I said, at one point it was my favorite. So this is Crown of Thistles from A England. And at number one is Light of Lyra, which you probably saw coming because this is my favorite tonic and it is also my favorite purple. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I absolutely love this polish. It's this beautiful like orchidy purple with this turquoise blue flash in here. It's absolutely stunning, amazing to apply. I just love this polish and I had to buy a backup of it because I know if this ever goes away I will be so sad and I have to have it in my life. So this is Tonic Light of Lyra. So that is it for me today for the top 10s. Um, please let me know what top 10s you'd like to see from me. I was thinking of maybe doing um, KB Shimmer next or maybe even um, Girly Bits. If you want to let me know what you would like to see in the comments down below, that'd be appreciated. Same with colors, what colors you'd like to see next. I know blue is going to be very requested, but I feel like blue is going to be the hardest for me to do, so that may not be for a while. So, so far I've done green, I've done purple, so I don't know, maybe red or pink or something. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below. And that is it for me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Next week, um, there may possibly be two videos for me next week. Depending on how things fall, it may be two videos. I just received the Sissa Chic Lacquer Fall and Halloween collections, so I'm going to swatch those today and then sit down and film a video. And I also have a collab coming up with a whole bunch of other channels, which I'm really excited about for fall. The fall collab is being put up on the 27th, which is a Thursday. I don't normally upload on Thursdays, so if I do my regular um, Sunday, you'll get be getting another video on Thursday as well. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I may have to forego the Sunday. I don't have time to film because this is going up really, really late. Normally my stuff is uploaded first thing on a Sunday morning and this is probably not going to go up until Sunday night because of what? Because yesterday we went to a fair with the kids and then the kids went to my in-laws to stay the night and my husband and I went out for dinner for our anniversary, which is like two weeks late. And uh, yeah, so we didn't have time to do anything, to any filming yesterday. I'm gonna stop my rambling, but like I said, please let me know what you wanna see in the comments down below. If you have any other video ideas that aren't top 10s that you'd like to see, also please let me know and I'd be happy to look into filming them for you. That is it, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.